We also see in a new publication in hemophilia the effect of a tranicogene desaparvivec on the quality of life in men with severe and moderately severe hemophilia B two years after receiving treatment. So this comes from the pivotal phase three HOPE-B trial. The patient reported outcomes were evaluated prior to dosing and at 6, 12, and 24 months post-dosing. And these included a number of validated health-related quality of life instruments with hemoqual as one of the disease-specific ones. And this showed improved health-related quality of life in the first and second years after treatment in several hemoqual domains including treatment, feelings, work in school, and the future domains though improvement in other aspects were not demonstrated. And this seems to support that infusion time reduction as well as fewer bleeds may have allowed people to feel more focused on their work and school responsibilities, potentially also reducing the participants' negative feelings about living with hemophilia B and thus causing them to be more optimistic about the future. However, it also shows the challenges of impacting physical functioning and pain with gene therapy as the subjects are being treated after already accumulating significant adverse effects on their joints that may not be reversed through gene therapy. So this should give us all motivation to strive toward therapies that could be offered to even younger individuals in order to prevent the progression of joint disease as early as possible. And I'm encouraged to see that adolescent gene therapy trials are now launching for both etranicogene desaparvivec and veloctocogene roxaparvivec, and a new gene editing strategy in hemophilia B now offers the potential to eventually bring gene therapy to the pediatric age group. This new study from Regeneron will use CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing tools to drive a targeted insertion of the factor IX gene into the albumin locus within hepatocytes, such that the natural albumin promoter will then drive endogenous expression of factor IX. And as this would be a fully integrated transgene, it would be propagated to daughter cells with cell division, such that this would allow long-term expression even for an individual such as a child who still has a growing liver. So it's pretty exciting to potentially have a definitive therapeutic intervention that could be applied to hemophilia before any onset of chronic joint disease. So stay tuned for updates from these trials in the months to come.